Hello, I'm Paul Pluter from Paul Pluter Prestige <clears throat> and today I'd like to talk about annual calendars. And uh, what I'd especially like to talk about is the first incarnation of the Patek Philippe annual calendar, which is the uh, 5035. And the, the replacement, what I would say is the, the current model Patek Philippe annual calendar, which is 5146. And uh, basically, the, uh, they're both beautiful annual calendar pieces. And uh, I, I really would like to just discuss, is the new current version better than the original interpretation? And uh, I've got to say, you know, what is the differences between the current and the, the original? Well, the current model <coughs> is slightly bigger. The case is 39 mils, whereas the original 5035 was 37 mils. The dial on the, uh, the original used Roman numerals, whereas on the, the 5146 it uses Arabics at the 3, 9 and 12 position. Um, as far as the the pieces go, the movement itself in the original 5035 it uses a 315 based movement, whereas the current model that's 5146 it uses a 324 movement, which is basically the later interpretation of the 315 protect movement. So the the movements are quite similar. A very obvious change is the change that occurred to the dial and, uh, and some functionality. The original 5035 featured an AM-PM indicator um, at the 6th position and uh, that's now been replaced by a moon phase function and they've, they've also they've put in a power reserve feature at the 12 position which the original 5035 never had. Now looking at these pieces here which piece is the better of the two? And I mean look in modern times you'd, you definitely would pick the current the 5146. However, however, you know there's, there's many quality things about both pieces. I love the fact the 5146 has the deployment buckle, whereas the 5035 normally just has the tang buckle. The 5146 is slightly larger at 39 mils instead of the 37 mils on the 5035. The 5146 has the power reserve and moon phase, whereas the 5035 has an AM-PM indicator. In many ways, comparing the two pieces, the 5035 looks more vintagey, and I've got to say this honestly, it reminds me of a Rolex bubble back of yesteryear, and that's because the, the bubble back is slightly smaller than a current 36mm Rolex. But in, in all honesty, I think both pieces are gorgeous, and they will make the collector very, very happy. And the, the wonderful thing about the, the Patek annual calendar is it uses a completely in-house movement, unlike some of the other Pateks which use Lamania based movements. But ignoring that fact there, I mean, look, I, th I think at the end of the day, the, uh, both pieces are gorgeous and are a lovely piece to behold. They are a dress watch and they can be worn for many different occasions. The modern trend has gone towards bigger pieces. But, in all honesty, I think the 5035 is, represents excellent buying because the prices currently that this piece is available for are at an all-time bargain. And these prices must improve because just recently, in a anti-quorum auction held in New York, a rose gold 5035 with box and papers recently sold for 35,000 US dollars. And I think the 5035 in the next 10 to 20 years will climb back up and be almost identical to the current 
version of the annual calendar. This surely represents excellent buying if you can obtain a mint example of the 5035 in astronomical condition. I'm Paul Pluter from Paul Pluter Prestige. Tell me what you think of these two beautiful annual calendars.